These are the people who have the grim task of sifting through the charred wreckage of Northern California's campfire for human remains. They're seeking clues to the fate of more than 1,200 people who are unaccounted for after the state's deadliest and most destructive wildfire. They are depending on us to find their loved one. A friend of mine from the gym, I haven't been able to get in touch with him, his phone's out. It happened so fast, I think that they, they would have been in, in serious trouble. Terrified for the people behind me. I knew there was a lot of elderly in the community that probably wouldn't make it out. The number of people missing amid the smoking ruins has jumped again, this time by over 250 names. It's a painstaking process, moving mounds of metal in hopes of finding any trace of a body. We have so much ground to cover, so many homes to deal with. Photographer Terry Sylvester has been following search and rescue teams in the town of Paradise and says the cadaver dogs are overwhelmed. Normally when they respond to a fire, it would be a fire in a single house. Now the dogs' noses are dealing with sort of sensory overload. But why are so many people still listed as missing? Authorities are struggling to provide loved ones with answers. Oh my gosh, look at all these houses are gone. This is horrible. And the fire burned so hot, some victims may never be found. Trying to determine the difference between uh, human remains and non-human remains. Uh, because it can be extremely difficult in these fires to make that differentiation. Forensic anthropologists are on the ground to help identify the remains of those who could not escape. The total number of human remains located and recovered at this point is more than 70. That's already a state record. But this huge number of missing people looms over the possibility of a much higher death toll. What was once the town of Paradise has been wiped off the map. 27,000 people once lived here, and now there's nothing but ashes. And it's not just this one town. The Camp Fire and the Wolseley Fire in the south have collectively burned hundreds of thousands of acres. But with the wind coming down, it's the golden time to fight the flames. We still do have 3,300 firefighters assigned to this fire. And with that change in weather that we've seen, if that pattern continues, we should expect to see those containment numbers rise and the number of firefighters decrease.